In this lesson, we're going to talk about how to multiply real numbers together. And by real numbers, I just pretty much mean any negative or positive numbers that you would run across, ne uh, decimals, fractions, whole numbers, um, anything at all follow these rules. And there are two simple rules. They're a lot easier than when we learned how to add and subtract signed numbers because we don't have to think about the sign of the larger number and all that. It just goes like this. To multiply or divide two signed numbers, if the signs are the same, then the answer will be positive. If the two numbers have the same sign, the answer will be positive. If the two numbers have different signs, the answer will be negative. And so those are the rules, and now we're just going to get some practice So to mul let's multiply uh, 6 times negative 3, and since the signs are different, that will be negative 18. So it only matters that the signs are different. It doesn't matter which number was bigger, smaller, it doesn't matter at all, just that they're different. And now let's look at negative 1 fifth times 2 thirds. Okay, if we had anything here to simplify, we would do that, but we don't. So remember when you multiply fractions, you just go top times top and bottom times bottom and here I've got negative 1 times 2 makes negative 2 and it appears that the negative is in the top of the fraction but that's really kind of arbitrary you could write the negative in the front of the fraction just as well we just can't leave it in the bottom so every time we have a negative fraction the uh, negative can either appear in the top or in the front we never let it appear in the denominator Okay, C, negative 9 times negative 10. So here we have two numbers with the same sign. They will make positive 90. And negative 25 times 0. So even though this is a negative, anything you multiply by 0 will give you 0. And the, the, to put a negative sign in front of a 0 doesn't have any meaning. So just let that be 0. Okay, let's try a few more together. Negative 12 times negative 3 will make positive 36. Negative 1 third times 4 sevenths. The negative 1 times 4 makes negative 4. And the 3 times 7 makes 21. So if this could be simplified, we would do it. We would have done it over here before we started. But just notice that negative times positive still makes negative. Now negative 5 times 8 is going to make negative 40. And anything times 0 makes just plain zero. Now let's talk about how to multiply together more than two numbers at a time. To multiply more than two numbers at a time, we can go in any order, but we only really work with two numbers at once. So now let's multiply negative three times negative one times two times negative two. So we will just go in, le in left to right order to start with. Negative 3 times negative 1 will be positive 3. And then that positive 3 times 2 will make 6. And then that 6 times negative 2 makes negative 12. And here's another one. Same instructions. Let's multiply. Negative 1 times negative 2 times negative 2 times positive 3 times negative 4. So negative 1 times negative 2 is positive 2. Positive 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. Negative 4 times positive 3 is negative 12. And negative 12 times negative 4 is positive 48. So I don't know if it's occurred to you yet or not, but since every pair of negative signs makes a positive answer, the number of negative signs is not going to affect the answer. It's whether they can all be paired up or not. In this first example, these two pair together, but this one is left over. It's odd. In this example, these two pair together and these two pair together, and so we don't have any negative signs left over, and the answer came out positive. So now let's try these same problems again. If we just count the negative signs, 1, 2, 3, 
An odd number of negative signs gives us a negative answer, and then when we multiply 3 times 2 times 2, we get 12 without having to think about the signs all the time. And on this second problem, what I would normally do is say 1, 2, 3, 4 negative signs, so an even number of negative signs makes a positive answer, and then 1 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 4 gives us 48. And let's try a few more. So here we see the rules again. An odd number of negative signs gives a negative answer. An even number of negative signs gives a positive answer. So we'll try these together. Okay. So here we go, 1, 2, 3 negative signs makes an odd number of negative signs, and then 3 times 2 is 6, and 6 times 5 is 30, so we know it's going to be negative 30. Okay, 1, 2, an even number of negative signs is going to make a positive answer. So now 2 times 7 is 14, 14 times 3 let's see, will be 42, and then 42 times 2 will be 84, so positive 84. Okay, uh, here I have 1, 2 negative signs, so that makes a positive answer, and then 2 times 3 is 6, and 6 times 4 is 24, so positive 24. And on this last one, 1, 2, 3 negative signs, so an odd number of negative signs makes a negative answer. Then 3 times 2 is 6, and 6 times 8 is 48.